this video we're going to review the changes that we made in NetScan Tools Pro 11.2. The first change that we made is a new tool called Country to IP or ASN. It's found in the manual tools bin over here on the left side column. First of all you have a list of countries so we can pick one, let's say Latvia. Then you can press get IP version 4 and it will show you all the IP version 4 addresses assigned to Latvia according to the database. These are the IP counts over here, the starting and ending addresses. You can also get the IP version 6 addresses. You get the base IP address and the CIDR block size right here. You can also get the autonomous system numbers, ASN, the base and then the count. In most cases there's one, but sometimes in certain countries you'll see a, a count of more than one. Right here is a quick jump button that we added. It allows you to jump to IP to country so you can quickly get the country. And then also we added the same button here on IP to country to jump back to country to ASN. Of course you can get these reports back up and you can review the ASNs, the IP version 6, and the IP versions 4, if you wish, in the web browser. The next major change we made to NetScan Tools Pro 11.2 is in the DHCP server discovery tool. As you can see right here, we've replaced the drop-down menus we had for IP address and MAC address with this new grid. You can select the IP MAC combination for each interface that's found on your system and press discover DHCP servers. It will show all the DHCP servers that exist on your network. Actually, I should say the network associated with this interface and then you can see the information for each. Now here's a VMware adapter. As you can see there's a DHCP server there and there's another VMware adapter right here. So each one has its own DHCP server. So if you happen to have a laptop with a wired and a wireless connection, you would see the two connections here and you would be able to see the networks they're connected to and the DHCP servers that they're connected to. Another major change in NetScan Tools Pro 11.2 is to port scanner. In previous versions you were able to scan multiple IP addresses. Well we've added that back. You can now edit a target list of IP addresses. You have your various parameters here. You can change the order and do ranges, import, export, that sort of thing. And then you have to just check this box right here. And now when you go over to scan range of ports or scan common ports, it will scan those lists. It also presents the IP address right here. So as we watch it go, you can see the results from each of the three computers that were in the list. Now in order to view the information from each, you have to hit the reports button. And then you can see a report in your web browser for each of those three.